Uh, so I'm killing these evil creatures. These are found in the donator zone. Um, they're kind of meant to be like you just pray and AFK and you get some decent loots. And I actually got two rares back to back, mystery box and then a smoldering stone. They have very odd drops. Once I kill this one, I'll show you what kind of things that they drop. But uh, they're pretty cool. Um, and as you can see from the hit speed, you never want to take prayer off. You take prayer off, you're you're probably going to die. I don't think they hit high though. Like I'm pretty sure if I take it off, it'll be like nine, five. Yeah, see, look, it's not even hitting me now. Prayer on, so they they don't they don't hit it very often. Three, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should up that because now there's really no threat. Yeah, I'm gonna up that just because I want you to be like, the second you take prayer off, I want you to fall pretty quickly. So, yeah, yeah. See, it's kind of picking up, but all you have to do is pray and you're chill. That right, should be dead. Three in a row? No, Dragon Arrows. Whenever Twisted Bow comes out, Dragon Arrows will be very useful. So, yep. Oh, I'm looking at it already. So this is the price table. They kind of have like weird random drops, like Steam Battle Staff, uh, some Zolder Scales, uh, 420 Natrons, because why not? Um, got some decent like cash drops. You can get like some, you know, Crystal Keys, whatever. Um, Dark Light being the the very rare. So they're pretty cool. Um, Let's open up the mystery box, I guess. Ten super strings. Me. I might actually remove those pot drops. I don't know how people feel about those. I feel like, um, I feel like people probably wouldn't like those. <laughs> Yay! I just got my first pet, the beaver. Oh, it's a good one. Do I still have the? Yay! Oh, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm just cutting trees for a hunter. I'm not even trying to do, like, wood cutting or anything. So that's uh. That's pretty awesome. First pet. Nice. Just got myself a uh, lumberjack top. Uh, so with scaling, all the rewards show up on the floor now. So you might pay a little bit more attention when you are scaling, because I did not notice it. <laughs> I don't. I think it should stay on the ground for like a minute or two. It's fine. Um, but yeah, just pay attention. Oh, I just realized the lumberjack top is like fucked up. I can I can fix that though. There's, there's no problems. All right, just get ourselves another piece of lumberjack. We're actually getting pretty lucky. We got three in a row without any duplicates. So, one more to go. All right, so there we go. We got the lumberjack hat. As you can see in the inventory, we did get two duplicate legs. But there we go, full set and the pet. I just now do woodcutting, so that's pretty good. All right, so just got 99 woodcutting. Awesome. Got everything. Uh, so we're completely done with woodcutting. Get our mystery box opened up. <laughs> I'm like in the process of coding a ton of stuff. I got a ton of files open. I am definitely removing these. It's decided. I don't care. Alright, so I just bought a Slayer reset form. I actually don't have a Slayer helmet. I feel like the reset form is probably better. It seems like that's uh, kind of what everybody buys because you really just kind of like just. You can just click here until you get a good one. Um, it was actually kind of overpowered originally you could get really easy tasks and buy mystery boxes but that's sort of changed a little bit it's not too uh, nerfed but it is a little harder to do that but this thing's nice and then you can also get boss tasks if I toggle it now you get boss tasks so let's see what first one we get Cree era um actually I kinda wanna get you know what Dagna Kings you know I'll do that awesome so if you read the chat here I just got the baby mole pet which is it standing on top of me there there it is cool so I've actually just been literally killing these <laughs> for Slayer um, with the Slayer reset form. I think I showed it in my last clip. Uh, I just keep getting giant mole tasks. I figured since we're going for all pets eventually, this is going to be the best way to get them. And I'm not 99 Slayer, so uh, that's awesome. Yeah, and this is probably one of the easiest ones to get just because it's AFK. And um, yeah, so uh, kill count 144, I guess. Yeah, 144. Awesome. Mole pet. It's always cute. I like mole pet. It's an easy one to get on, like, you know, on the actual RuneScape as well. But, uh, cool. So, uh, I'm probably just going to figure out what I want to do next. Something probably easy. Sure, if you can hear the, the air conditioner in the background, hopefully you can't. But let's buy ourselves a uh, Slayer Helm. I'm a little sick right now, so the next couple videos, of, or the next couple clips, rather, will be, uh, you know, with this voice. But, yeah, cool. There's our Slayer Helm, and we also got two Abyssal Heads. I don't think I recorded these. Um, because they're not that amazing, but you can, uh, if we have inventory space, you can do that. So now we have Red Slayer Home. Totally goes with our green and black, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, so I've been killing Abyssal Demons, uh, for the achievement. 
and I uh, got myself an easy clue, which was the last one I needed for a master. Um, recently, uh, we added magic oysters. Uh, basically, if you use it on a clue, it will complete it for you. So if we complete these ones, it does not work on masters, so whatever master we get, we're going to come back with. But yeah, let's see what we can get. All right. Full gilded. That sucks. That, that, that does suck. I'm working on an update right now that's actually going to make clue scrolls a little bit easier. Obviously, there's those oysters, which are nice now. Um, they really are, are mostly in game just because sometimes when you open up a clue, it doesn't work. So, um, to not really give anybody any problems, we added those. Uh, but I'm going to increase the um, chances you get a clue. And that should, um, that should result in more clues being completed. Uh, apparently there is one person that does have a full set. I'm going to try to figure out who it is and try to buy it from them. But until then, uh, just going just gonna to sit here with it. Alright, so I just got 99 Slayers. You can see in the chat, uh, we got a mystery box. I already opened it up. It was a woodcutting tome. Um, I did get a hard clue scroll from that, so I figure we'll open it up. Uh, Gothic's Dragon Hide body. That's kind of funny because we are currently wearing that. But, uh, yeah. So there's 99 Slayer. That's out of the way. I'm trying to work on like, all the AFK things with us. Like I said, I can just keep getting the little demons, kill those, get Slayer, and uh, work towards the achievement. Let's see what we got now. 462. It's not bad. Um, at this point, we'll probably have to move on to something different, though, because I do want to max. Alright, so I just updated the uh, server. Crystal Keys received an upgrade, so we're going to open up some of these real quick. Um... Uh, wasn't too much added to them. It was mostly about removing the junk and improving the odds. So we'll see what we can get here. You can get gilded, and uh, if you saw from the last clip, uh, we're kind of looking for that. So let's hope for the best. Now these caskets are cash caskets. Uh, medium clue. That's not bad. Bears gloves. These water packs or rune packs have 2,000 runes in them. Uh, the KS one I think only has a thousand though. Another clue. Medium again. Another pair of barrel gloves and a cash casket. We'll just put these in the thing. Let's uh, keep going. Let's see what we got here. Air runes. Glory. So far, nothing, nothing too interesting. Oyster. That's uh, part of the, uh, the the new clue shit. Infinity top. That's a rare item. Oh, gilded kite shield. Nice. That's awesome. So there's one piece down. Well, and with this new update, there's also some changes to the way you get clue scrolls and whatnot. So should be able to be easier to get those in the first place. So we can try to ground out these other pieces. Mystery box, that's cool. We'll open that up in a sec. Another one, and our last one. So we did get one gilded piece. We got a couple uh, rares, infinities, and whatnot. Mystery box. Dragon plate legs and ten super strings. Um, so let me know how what you're thinking. If you have any suggestions on the loot, um, it's a little better. You can get like split bark and stuff. Almost everything's useful. These rune packs are kind of nice. They have uh, high amounts of runes. All right, but uh, that'll end the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, before I officially end the video, though, I do want to kind of just go over some of the updates that happened today and yesterday. Um, so today, um, that update that just went live. So I don't think too many people. Will uh, I've participated in it. There is now a rare drop table type system. Uh, basically, whenever you kill monsters, you have a 1 in 750 chance to access it, and these are the uh, original items on it. Kind of based them off of things people want and need, and based off of the RS3 rare drop table system. But if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. Um, did a lot of uh, messing around with Slayer tasks, making better ones, adding some ones that make sense, like Elf Warriors and Ankus. Uh, cave horrors have been added, although I don't think I made them as a slayer task, so that's fucking pointless. Um, and then, as you saw in the last clip, crystal chests. Um, and then the updates from the day before uh, include voting. Voting is now out. Voting is out, and high scores are working. Um, if you're wondering where I'm at on the high scores, I'll show you in a second. This update uh, well, this isn't too interesting. Uh, most of it pertains to things that I've already talked about, so we'll. Um, We'll go and show you off the high scores and show where rank I am. At the moment, it's off experience, not overall, so it's a little weird, as you can tell. Some people, uh, for example, the number two dude is 919 total level, 
and he's in second place, so 690 experience. Uh, Dark's gonna fix that, so don't worry, but uh, currently we are 13 with, uh, uh, I don't know if I can do this all in one frame, I can't, with uh, 362 million experience. So, hey, I'm gonna go for high scores. Uh, it's not really part of my series or anything, but I do uh, think it'd be kind of cool to to see, you know, where I am at once it's based off a of total level and sort of uh, get our total level up there. Because I don't think we're too far behind. I'm guessing we'd probably be... be um, actually, we might be less. Oh, yeah, we'd definitely be less. Uh, don't worry about those. I'm going to move them. Yeah, I think we might be less if it's based off of total level. So <laughs> maybe I shouldn't change it.